So I'm making this video on the 335, N54, MST80, um, fuel injector activation codes. Um, and also this code down here, 30BA injectors one, two, and three, um, or DME internal fault. If you look into this enough um, and you're about as frustrated as I am with it, you might think that you need to change the MOSFETs on your ECU or DME or upgrade your DME to MSD81. Um, I also thought the same thing. I thought I needed to um, change my ECU. That was not the case. My issue started with, this is a lot of stuff right here, but this is like the most concise one. Um, my issue started with this one right here, 2E31 fuel injector number two. Um, I had this code for about a day and I could clear it and it would go away and it would come back. Yeah, clear it and it would go away and it come back. It was fine for about a week. A week later, I started getting one, two, and three um, fuel injector activation codes. Ignore this. Um, I would get one, two, and three fuel injector activation codes. Um, I did not get this 30BA code until I pulled my DME out and looked at my MOSFETs and tested them. Um, I tested the backing plate um, or well, the drain and the gate for continuity. However that goes, if you look it up, you'll figure out a little bit more about that type of stuff. Um, I tested my ECU, I tested my MOSFETs, they tested out fine, so I was kind of confused about the whole thing. I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna change the ECU. Um, really wanna get the car back on the road. Went into these um, injectors and swapped injector number two with injector number one. And I noticed that whenever I unplugged injector number two and I turned the car off and I restarted, um, it would only miss on five cylinders where if you have this injectors one, two and three fault, it'll miss on three cylinders. So you're running on three. Um, so if I unplug this, this, this injector number two, if I unplug injector number two and I restart the car, it'll only miss on injector two because it's unplugged. Now, if I run the car and I plug in injector two, it'll miss on one, two and three. Now I can't find any, inform any information online about that. Um, but it turns out that this fuel injector is no good. Um, this isn't it. I do have an index 12. I don't know why that particular index 12 failed. I'm kind of frustrated about that. Um, I did pick up some index eights and a couple index index fives just to test it out. Um, and I went ahead and swapped it and well, runs like a dream. So yeah, if you um, have this code and you're thinking it might be your ECU, um, I know a lot of people don't want to change their fuel injectors because they're kind of, you know, they're expensive. Um, you know, it might be a little easier just to change the MOSFETs um, or maybe you've already changed your MOSFETs and you still have this issue. Um, it does seem like, I think what happens is this injector has an internal fault and it ends up um, drawing a lot of power from the MOSFETs or something along the lines of, and it'll cause a misfire on all of the injectors in that bank. So bank one on this car was completely like just out of whack um, and it ended up just being this one injector that needed to get changed. Um, my big thing about these is sometimes you just gotta really take it at face value. It will say injectors one, two, three, or DME internal fault. Um, it ended up being injector two internal fault. It was not the DME, it was not injector one or three, it was just two. So that 30BA code is a little bit different than your 30BB or 30AAs, but um, you know, I, I thought I could use them synonymous, synonymously, um, wasn't the case. So anyways, hope that helps you out. Um, if you got any questions, comments, concerns, leave them below.